Welcome back to PHP 101. In this video, I'm gonna show you just how simple and easy it is to get up and running using PHP. So over here on the left side, you'll see that we have this hello world.html file. This may be something that you're familiar with that you've been working with up to this point, HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. And so you've seen a file like this and now you're ready to dive into PHP and want to know how to convert this to a PHP file so you can start using it. Well, it's really pretty straightforward. So I'll go ahead and right click on my app here. Again, of course, whatever editor you're using, this may be a little bit different, but for me, I can simply hit this rename option here and change this to a PHP file and now we have a PHP file that we can write PHP code in. And remember, if you've watched the video, what is PHP? All that extension is really doing is telling Apache that this is a PHP file and it needs to be sent to the, P to the PHP rendering engine to see if it has PHP code that needs rendered, and if so, for it to be rendered. Okay, so it doesn't change really anything that we can do with this file outside of being able to add PHP. It doesn't really take away anything. So me changing this to hello world.php, if I come over here to this page and I now visit this file, and you'll notice I haven't actually changed, I haven't put PHP code in my file yet. I come here, I still get hello world. So you can still write a regular HTML page inside of a .php extension. And in fact, that's the point because oftentimes your PHP code will be embedded inside of a web page to display certain parts of that web page. So this is obviously something that's absolutely critical that they left in there that you have the ability to continue to do so that you could do that with PHP. All right. So now how do we actually write some PHP code here? So to just some basic inset, uh, syntax to tell the PHP rendering engine that a certain block of code is going to be PHP, we use just some very special tags. Now, there's nothing to explain about these tags. They're just arbitrary. It's what they just decided to use. So there's no deeper necessarily meaning behind these. These are just the tags that you need to use. So it's gonna be uh, a less than sign, a question mark, and the words PHP. This opens a block of PHP. This tells PHP or the rendering engine Okay, we're starting PHP code now. And then to close it, to say, okay, we're done with PHP, use a question mark and the greater than sign. Okay, so anything in between these two symbols is going to be considered PHP code. Now, if I were to write hello world inside of here, which is improper syntax, right? This is not proper PHP syntax. And I redo this, you can see it breaks my page because it's what happens is this file gets sent to PHP to render it. The PHP engine tries to render it and says, Oh, that's not the language I know. And so it says it breaks it. It says this file is broken and sends that back to Apache. And so then Apache sends that to the browser and says, Hey, something's up with this page. It needs fixed. Okay. So if we come over here now and we use proper syntax, so we do echo and hello world like this which is now proper php syntax and echo is just a way of printing information to to the screen and we reload this now you see we have our hello world here and of course we still have this one down here so if we really erase that one then we'll have our one hello world okay so it's really that simple to get up and running. You just need a file with .php extension in it, and then you need to start writing your, you, you do your open and closing PHP tags, and then you start writing your PHP code in the middle of that. It's really pretty easy to get up and running. Of course, the one caveat to this is that you need to have a web server up and running. So you either, either need to have a live web server on a live domain, that you're using out there for, for what you're doing, or you need to have a program like WAMP server or XAMPP installed on your local computer that has the PHP rendering engine in it so that it'll render these PHP files. If you don't have that, 
then you're just going to see this code in your browser. So if, if you do this and you just see this exact same code in your browser here, that means that you don't have your web server properly up and running. And I would recommend watching the prerequisite, one of the prerequisite videos for this course, which is how to get a local server installed with WAMP server. Now, there's lots of options out there for doing that kind of thing. I use a program. Everybody always asks me what program I use. I use a app called Nitrous. It's uh, nitrous.io and it's a cloud IDE integrated development environment. So it has the web server and all that already built into it. So I don't have to install any of that stuff. There's lots of options out there like that. Um, but if you want something just to get up and going, you can watch that tutorial video on how to do it with WAMP server, which I use for a lot of years. All right. So that's how to get up and running with PHP. As you can see, very simple and straightforward.